a former borough president here in Staten Island. His name is James Otto. He's now the uh, commissioner of buildings in New York City. He's a vagina. And um, he doesn't have the balls to stand up to Eric Adams. So there's another story brewing here in this kombucha of corruption that I want to touch on because I think it's flying over a lot of people's heads. I mean, being that there are no big left-wing protests, social justice marches, class action lawsuits, or an anointed supervillain like Donald Trump for the world to point its collective finger at. You know, for pushing migrants into toxic, septic, asbestos-filled death traps. Uh, They were dealing with uh, smells of raw sewage coming from the makeshift uh, showers that that they created on the site. Another Staten Island shelter at the Richard H. Hungerford School in Stapleton was closed due to asbestos concerns. I hit the streets of Staten Island and ran into John Tobacco. And he pointed the finger at one person, New York City's Commissioner of Buildings, James Otto. In the clip I'm about to play you, John claims that 1111 Father Capadonna Boulevard doesn't even have a certificate of occupancy. Now this raises many other questions, but let's play the clip. Our former borough president here in Staten Island, his name is James Otto. He's now the uh, commissioner of buildings in New York City. He's a vagina. And um, he doesn't have the balls to stand up to Eric Adams and tell him that 1111 Capadano Boulevard is an unsafe place. There's no certificate of occupancy there. And uh, Jim Otto, if he cared about Staten Island, like when he was the borough president, he should step up and tell Eric Adams that this is also an unacceptable and unsafe place. And if he doesn't, we'll just prove it like we did here, and Jim Otto will uh, have to comply with us. Now, this is interesting. Outside of St. John's Villa Academy, no other venue has served as an epicenter for the war on migrant shelters more than 1111 Father Capadano Boulevard. Play the next clip. The former Island Shores Senior Living Facility, which the city designated as the newest migrant shelter. We warn them, if you try to bring illegal aliens in here, the community is going to surround it, not permit them in. In the end, 10 people were arrested. Nine for disorderly conduct and one for allegedly assaulting an officer who was trying to arrest people. Now that rally at 1111 Father Capadano Boulevard, where 10 people got arrested and hordes of police officers fought to push back protesters so they could bring in busloads of illegal migrants into a building that isn't even legal to be occupied. Now, it can't be a coincidence that Father Capadano Boulevard, as well as St. John's Villa, and the other two shelters that were condemned in Staten Island can be traced back to the New York Department of Buildings. Now, before I go any further, let's watch this next clip. When you're at capacity, every day is a challenge. When we open up these sites, it's not just FDNY that goes in, it's also the Department of Buildings that makes determinations about the building that we're in, what those occupancy levels are, et cetera. So there's a whole checklist that they review before we open up any of these sites. Well, folks, the passing of the buck has already started. Now, if you don't know what's going on here, there was Mayor Adams' chief of staff, Camille Varlak, saying that it's the Department of Buildings who determine which buildings they use for the shelters. Well, that brings us back to Mr. James Otto. Now, what makes this intriguing is what Mr. Otto's job was before he got the Department of Buildings job working for the mayor. Well. He was borough president of Staten Island. Now, a former borough president of Staten Island would be well aware that 1111 Father Capadonna Boulevard doesn't have a certificate of occupancy. Seems like somebody's on the clock here, doesn't it? It looks like the fix might be in. Hmm? And the mayor is ready to pass the buck to Mr. Otto for all the forthcoming human rights violations that are sure to come forward. I mean, can't you just see the New York Post headline now? Jimmy Otto's migrant shelter shame. Human rights violations rock Staten Island. 
I hope it was worth it, James. You know, it probably went something like this. Mayor Adams was like, uh, 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 James, uh, uh, James, uh, uh, you have any idea uh, wh- wh- where we can put these, uh, 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 migrants? And then James was like, yeah, boss, you can throw them up in that old Catholic school over there. You know, kick, kick the veterans off the beach. Who cares? Uh, 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 that, 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 that's a great idea, James. That's a great idea. Well, we'll see where this all leads. And I'll be sure to check underneath my car before starting the ignition from now on. I'm Debrava. Hopefully I'll see you next time.